I'm going up against the Brooklyn Nets. He has the best record in the league. Right now, at this point of the season, I think he had five wins and one loss. So I'm in for a big game. And in the first possession, I went into Tobias Harris because he had a mismatch. And a big reason for why this guy is 5-1 is because of the play of Brook Lopez. This dude is such a beast. I didn't realize it till we played this game. I thought he was still the Brook Lopez from the old 2K games. But on 2K16, they really changed how he plays. Look at this, he blows right by me, but I get the block with Vucevic. This is going to be a matchup between two great centers. I can't wait. And Joe Johnson pulls up for the triple. He misses Vucevic with another block. And now we're on the fast break. I'm going to find Tobias Harris. And he pulls up from the mid-range area. I was hoping for a three, but I'll take it. On this possession, he backed off Victor. He thought I was going to drive because I did a jab step. So that was a good move. And the next possession, he's going to try to go back into the post. But he drives instead. I, was, I thought he was going to post up. But he drove it right by me. That was a good move as well. So I'm going to call for a nice screen here. Look who's coming off the screen. Ray Allen has been doing that his whole career. And he gets the mid-range to fall. So this first quarter was pretty close. We were just trading buckets. But look what happens right here on this possession. I can't even make a, a entry pass into the post. And we turn it over. We can't be making turnovers like that. If you expect to beat a good team like the Brooklyn Nets in this league, who has the best record in the league, you got to step your game up offensively. And speaking of stepping your game up, Victor Oladipo gets into the lane with a nice slam. I think that was my first dunk with Victor Oladipo in these three games because most of the time I was getting blocked or I was going for layups. But that was nice to see that I finally got a dunk to go. I'm going to get back-to-back -back buckets right here with Victor. Finally, I feel like I'm getting used to Victor Oladipo because I remember the first two games, like, I didn't know how to use this guy at all. And speaking of moves, look at Joe Johnson with the nice dribble moves into the pull-up mid. So this is a nice play right here. Ray Allen with the brick, though. I should have passed it inside the lane because I had a wide open dunk. And Joe Johnson has a similar play and he knocks down the three. And speaking of turnovers, look at this. Oh my gosh. What is going on? We can't make these silly mistakes. So this league is a league of make and miss. Oh my gosh. Speaking of... Oh, Brooke Lopez. Killing it. And look at Shabazz with a nice spin move, but he gets blocked. Man, that was sad. <laughs> and now he's going to make me pay with a pull-up mid. So this second quarter, I'm getting killed. Turnovers, missing shots, getting blocked. And finally, I make a shot inside the lane with Shabazz with the left hand. So he pulls up for three. We get the rebound with Shabazz Napier. I know I was trying to pass it all the way there, but it wasn't working. So I had to go coast to coast. And I get the layup to fall. So Brook Lopez going back into the paint, but we finally stop him for once. Channing Fry with a nice block. I'm going to go coast to coast. No foul. And I missed the layup, but Shabazz is there for the cleanup. And I'm going to find Mario Hezonja. Hezonja for the three. That was a huge shot because we would have been down double digits if I had missed that. And Mario gets into the lane in the third quarter. I decided to start Mario to start the second half because... I had a feeling that he would be able to provide some offensive power, and there it is! Offensive punch. So now we're down by 12, but our offense is looking a bit better than earlier. And speaking of... Ooh, Victor! Let it go! <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but yo, that was sick. So this third quarter was all Victor. I'm getting into the lane, baby! That's sick. So like I said, I'm learning how to use Victor Oladipo a bit better now. So in this third quarter, I will be showcasing some of his skills. And Victor for the three-point shot. A nice crossover into the three. So now we're only down by six. We were down by as much as 15, I think. So now we're just going to try to step up our defensive game. We get a steal right there. I'm going to throw it right to Victor because he's the fastest player on the court. And nobody could catch him on the break. And they bring a double. I found Tobias Harris for the triple. So now it's only a three-point basketball game. So I'm going to try to go for an iso again. Victor into the lane. This time he gets fouled. I got to keep attacking the basket with Victor Oladipo. That's something I've learned. I was trying to shoot too much jump shots. But now it's the fourth quarter. It's Brook Lopez time for the Brooklyn Nets. And you know he's going to make that basket most of the time. Even though I have Vucevic, a good defensive center, well, an okay defensive center, 
Um, I still can't stop Brook Lopez. So I'm getting into the lane with Vooch, and I get a nice layup inside the paint. And now I get stripped, Shabazz gets stripped, that's a huge turnover, like I said. We can't be making these turnovers if I expect to beat the Brooklyn Nets. So now it's a 6 point game, Mario gets inside, but he gets blocked. <laughs> oh my gosh, a lot of my dunks are getting blocked. So now he's gonna try to run a nice play again, he finds Joe Johnson in the corner, our defense fell asleep. So now our lead, <laughs> his lead sorry, is back to 8. And now Ray Allen is open, he fell asleep as well, back to 6, so it's a back and forth game, Ray Allen gets the rebound, and in this league when your point guard or shooting guard gets the rebound you could push the basketball, so I find Tobias Harris in the corner for a back to back triple, so now it's only a 3 point game. Gotta get one stop right here and we could tie the game on the next possession, but Brook Lopez has different plans, he drives into the lane. And now it's a 5 point game, Brook Lopez now with the mid range shot on the baseline. My goodness, Brook is killing me. I find Ray Ray for mid, back to 5. We're exchanging buckets. But Lopez is in the paint, I bring a double. I was expecting Raymond Felton to miss, but he made the 3 point shot and that's like the dagger right there. Because <laughs> I was expecting Raymond to brick, because most of the time in real life, you know, he bricks. So Lopez is in the lane again. It's the fourth quarter for Brook Lopez, so it's winning time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. It was a good game, close game, but Brook Lopez took over in the fourth. Crazy, crazy good game. Got some nice highlights with Oladipo. Brook Lopez, 26, 11, two assists, and two blocks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G Flash on Twitter.